Hey guys, so it's finally good to be back. Um, haven't made a video in like a week, but whatever. Um, so today's video is going to be like the good and the bad foundation primers, except for it's a little bit different. I kind of like most, like, well, like about 95% of the primers that I have, I really like. It just depends on, I'm going to go out and like how much I use them, the ones I reach for the most, and then I do have one that I really don't like. Now, foundation primer, you put it on after your moisturizer and before your foundation. Um, you don't have to use it, but it does kind of, well, depending, because there's like a million types of foundation primers, which I'm not even going to get into, but... Yeah, so you know, it's just something that you put on your face and it gives you like a really smooth canvas to put your foundation over. And recently, I have been wearing, every time I wear a foundation, I wear a primer. I just got into like this habit of putting a primer before my foundation and I really, really like it. It does make your foundation stay on a bit longer and it just gives you like a smooth surface to apply your foundation to. So I'm going to start off with the ones that I reach for on the daily and... Some of these aren't exactly um, foundation primers, but I really like them. For instance, the first one, this is the Cost Medicine Metamat. This is actually an oil control lotion. And now I only use this like foundation primer. I usually base it here and then I just kind of blend it out and then a little bit on my forehead. But because right here, like this is where I have like really big pores. So I kind of like to minimize the appearance of my pores or whatever. So this I usually base it on my nose and then I blend it out all right here but I really like it because it mattifies like completely like completely so I really recommend this if you have oily skin but the other thing I really like that it does is that it actually blurs out your pores which I never like it's kind of like it has a thicker consistency which I can kind of see why it kind of fills your pores and blurs them out but I just I really like to use this as a primer um, even though it's not, I actually use it as a primer instead of a lotion. Um, just because like I have other facial moisturizers that I really like. So I really recommend this if you have oily skin. Or if you're looking for just like a primer that has oil control or whatever. Next up we have the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Primer. This is one of my favorites. I've had this for a while now. I'm almost out. And this just has, it's kind of like a white consistency. You just put it on. It it has this really nice kind of soft texture and it just kind of makes your skin feel really soft I don't know how to explain it it's hard to explain primer unless you like actually touching it you know so I just really like to use this I think this is probably my most used out of all the primers that I have um, just because it's easy to reach for it's in a squeeze tube but I really do like them I think you find that at Walmart only now next up we have this is the Too Faced Primed and Poreless. This is just a little travel size. But I actually really like this. It smooths out your skin. It kind of blurs out your pores. And it just gives you like that even, kind of like even texture to your skin. Um, I actually really, really like the consistency of this primer. And it's just kind of like a little, let me see. You guys see it? Where is it? It's like right there. It comes out like kind of like, like it has a color to it, but once you apply it, it doesn't have a tint to it or anything. And next up we have the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Powder. Now these two are pretty much kind of the same thing, except for this is in powder form. And you could use this as a primer and as a finishing veil to kind of like set your makeup. And it looks like that. It's a really, really fine powder. Now the way I like to apply this, I now that I've had it for a while, I kind of like to use it more as a primer than a setting powder. But I just take like a little powder puff. I dab some of the product on and then work it into the powder puff. And then I just kind of buff it into my skin. And these two pretty much have the same effect. Um, I feel like this works a bit better because, I don't know, I feel like it, this really, really blurs out your pores. But I really like the fact that you can use it to set your foundation also. So if you've been looking into these two, I would recommend this one just because it has like multiple uses. So yeah, I really like those. And I'm actually wearing this one today with like my little powder puff before I put my foundation on. And now the next one, this is not like an actual primer. This was like a homemade primer that my friend made. And she calls it an illuminating primer. It's pretty much made out of like um, facial cold cream and sunblock and then just something to make it shimmery. But I like to use this on days when I really want to look glowy. And you can use this instead of using moisturizer so it's kind of like all-in-one because it has moisturizer in it but 
I do really like to use this when I want to glow. I also like to use, I'm telling you, this is like not even a primer, but I like to use it as a primer. This is the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer and Illuminating. It just has such a nice glow to it. It just looks like that. Um, it's a tinted moisturizer, but it adds a really nice glow, so I just like to put it on and use it as a primer when I want to look glowy. And I usually only apply it like in the C area, and I look glowy. The next one we have is the L'Oreal Studio Secrets uh, Magic Perfecting Base, and this is just like a pink primer. Um, I really like this. Um, it smooths out like your skin. It kind of blurs out your pores. The only downside is the packaging. Like I hate products that I have to dip like my finger in there or something. So I don't really like that. But other than that, like it's a good primer. Like I like all the primers that I have. Um, you know, so I can't really say anything bad about them. Except for this one. I don't like the packaging. And last but not least, we have the one that I don't like. And this is the L'Oreal Studio Secrets Anti-Redness Primer. Now this is like a color correcting primer. Like if you have a lot of redness. And I sometimes get a lot of redness in this area. But this just does nothing for me. It doesn't help my redness. It actually makes me look dry in the areas that I applied it. Which kind of sucks. And it's like has like a little pump. It has like really cool packaging. It's more on the liquidy side. But yeah, this just does nothing for me and I, I just don't like it. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please let me know and I will talk to you guys later. Either keep your collection but you can never buy makeup anymore or you lose your entire collection.